Henry Cavill doesn't think there's any financial sense in Warner Brothers releasing Justice League as so-called Snyder Cut. In an effort to solidify Warner Brothers' hopes of establishing their own superhero cinematic franchise, the film brought DC's finest heroes together on the big screen for the first time. But instead of propelling the DCEU to greater heights, the ensemble film was viewed as a major setback for the franchise, especially following on the heels of Wonder Woman. The project was marred by countless issues including script rewrites, cavils, digitally removed mustache, and alleged studio meddling. However, nothing has been discussed as much as the last-minute director switch that led to Joss Whedon taking over the movie's reshoots after original helmsman Zack Snyder had to step away from the project. Due to a personal tragedy, talk of the Snyder Cut started not long after Justice League's release last November, as fans urged Warner Brothers to release the original cut of the movie directed by Snyder, featuring Junkie XL's intended score. The studio stayed mum on the matter but fans have continued to campaign for the Snyder Cut for the last several months now. And while most of the people involved in the film have chosen to be tight-lipped about the issue, Cavill has now come forward to offer his two cents. Related, WB reportedly has no plans to release the Snyder Cut speaking with Yahoo Movies while promoting his latest project mission, Impossible Fallout. The actor weighed in on the persistent calls for the release of the Snyder Cut. I don't know if a Snyder Cut actually exists so the only way I can look at it is as a business model. And I don't know what difference it's going to make. There are stories to be told, which need to be told and adjustments that can be made. But that's not going to make any difference. While the 35-year-old is acknowledging the fact that releasing the Snyder Cut can ultimately help, People move on from the not-so-beloved final cut of Justice League. He's also being realistic, saying that it won't result in any financial gains for Warner Brothers. So why should they invest the time and money for it? Instead, Cavill wants to focus on what comes ahead rather than mulling over the past. I think it might be entertaining. For sure. And go, oh look. Now I've scratched that itch but it's not going to change anything that I can think of. It's not going to make huge amounts of money all of a sudden and for a studio. They're not going to release it into cinemas and so they're not going to suddenly make an extra few hundred million. So it would be interesting to see what the difference is. But I'd rather focus on the future rather than what's been. While it's doubtful that Warner Brothers would roll out Justice League as Snyder cut in theaters even if they did decide to release it. There are still other ways that the studio can profit from releasing it. First, they can release it on DVD and Blu-ray. Or they can include it as part of the upcoming streaming service called DC Universe. The latter option could be the better one, considering it would definitely boost a lot of DC. Fans' interest in signing up for the platform, and while they're there, additional offerings like the Titans live action TV show might convince them to become a permanent subscriber. At this point, the fans who have been clamoring for the Snyder Cut are most likely okay with an unfinished movie. Read, incomplete VFX work and everything else that would have been finished during the standard reshoots and post-production. Obviously. They would be more than happy with a finished version. But most of those who've been relentlessly campaigning for the Snyder Cut just genuinely want to know what Snyder's original vision was for Justice League. That's all the more true now that the movie's storyboard artist has confirmed that the final cut of Justice League doesn't tell the story Snyder was originally going for. Source. Yahoo Movies Tags. Justice League looking for an AD free experience on screen rant.